is the mono print in two colors or three, two, as many colors as you want. The more colors, the more likely you are to stuff it up. First with my brayer or my roller, I roll out this ink very, very thinly. Next, I'm going to put down a little bit of a frame cut out of a piece of paper, scrap piece of paper. This is just to sort of contain where the ink goes a little bit. Now I put down just a scrappy piece of paper, rub it and pull it off so it's not too much ink there. Next I sit down my good sheet of paper. This is very thin paper so as uh, you can draw through it very easily. I'm going to tack this on the corners with a little bit of masking tape. Not too much because I have to pull this off again. Here's the photocopy of my work. This time it is the King Snake. I'm going to do it in two colours. It's going to be in red and black. Again, very carefully tack that down as well so as I can very carefully pull it off the sheet of paper afterwards without damaging the paper too much. Now I'm drawing in all the bits that are going to be red. Transfer the whole thing from one lot of ink to another lot of ink. And as I say, it is good to have the ink very, very thin. And I mark in the black bits. You can lift the whole thing up and have a look. If you see there's a couple of lines I've got to do, I can just sort of keep having a bit of a look and then popping it back down again until I sort of get it right the way I want it. And here we have the picture. As you can see, there's happy little accidents everywhere. It's something that's very hard to control, but that's the fun of printmaking. And here's one that's completely stuffed up. Reason being, the ink was not thin enough, and I probably should have maybe let it dry between different colours. You can sort of see the two colours there, the, the brown and the black, but yeah, it's, it's no success. Where I send just one colour, it is a success. Ah, bloody printmaking.